So you've come up with a great way to do planters. It's DIY. It's yeah. a little bit easier. It doesn't mean you have to get rid of the planters you have. Exactly. It's just a little covering for them. Well, I think... The holiday season, people take more liberties with color. Yes. I think we really welcome it, certainly inside the house. We don't always decorate with lime green and bright reds all year round, but mm -hmm. we do it during the holidays. So I thought, why don't we adapt that more for the outside in a really bold way mm -hmm. and focusing on the planters? Because let's be honest, the planters usually ground the front door. It's very yes. welcoming for guests. Oftentimes, I'm sure you do a wreath yep, we on do. the door. So whether it's a traditional wreath or something a little more whimsical, this I picked up from Canadian Tire, really, really cute. That's, I like the color on the black. It's nice, right? That's Something lovely. that pops a little bit. But here's the thing. I find people stop there. Right. They go out, they buy the planters, they put them in the, the typical urns, a neutral urn. Yep. They maybe get like a little fancy, like, <laughs> ooh, sparkly. Wild woman. <laughs> right? Whoa. Whoa. And then they stop there. Right. So I thought, That's where I would stop. Really? <laughs> I'm a little on the boring side. I'm not going to lie. Well, I wanted to add some whimsy with the planters themselves. Yes. But then I got thinking it needed to be practical. People aren't going to store or two sets of planters all year round. No. So why not just store one? Yes. And that's your holiday planters, which are not really planters, they're sleeves, if you will. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what I created, and if you can actually give me a little bit of help, yep. I'm gonna pass you this. Hold this. And I made these little gift boxes. The they idea are so pretty. is that they look like a gift box, but the key is they're hollow on the bottom. Okay. So when you make them according look to the size. <laughs> Oh my goodness! It's perfect. So I mean, this is beautiful. Here, I will take that for you. Do you want to actually you. put the sleeve sure, right over top of that I will put the sleeve on. One? I want you to make three of these for my recycling bins, please. <laughs> my recycling <laughs> bins are ugly. La, 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 across yes, the front. like anything to cover those bins. This is such a smart idea. Think now, of all the things you can do with it. Well, and the you smart, if, if you are smart with this, you can build them oh, or make dear. them. That's okay. I took um, out half the plant. <laughs> <laughs> you literally said it. You that can the plan. make these so that they they fit into one another. So really, you're just storing the big one. It's so it easy. It looks perfect. It See? looks totally Look perfect. At that. And then the other consideration, because these are exterior, is that I used all exterior paint with these. Okay, Which is that really, really important. This isn't a case of just using some craft paint or something left over that you have kicking around the house. You're wanting exterior product. And this is where you can literally have as much fun with the color as you want. So I, I pulled the color right from the, our little snowflake on the door right. and brought it into the urns. And then in, when it came to the mat, I thought, well, I do have some leftover exterior paint. You can paint oh, the sizes as that? well, yes. Oh, that's great. So this was just a sizal rug, rug from Ikea. Okay. And you can paint over top. And this is an awesome project, too, if you want to create your own customized little doormat. Right. Do stencils. You can put your family name or ho, 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 or bring the right. wine or whatever you want to yeah. put on there as a greeting for your guests coming over. You know what's cool about this? Because some people might look at this and say, well, that's a lot of work. But you're going to keep this year after year after year and until you get sick and tired of the color scheme and you want to do it again. This, this is a beautiful project. I always say the one great thing about paint is when you're over it, you're over you it. paint over it. <laughs> Yes. You can just paint over it. Yes. So you're over the color. Just paint these whatever color scheme you want. You move to a different house. You want colors to match that exterior. Yeah. Just paint them. Show us how you made these. So I love these the are little really snowflakes simple. especially. They're very pretty how you doubled them up. So that, just before, since you're chatting about them already, yeah. those were just little stencils. So these oh, I picked so up easy. online from Cutting Edge Stencils. Yeah. Really, really easy application. I'll put it on me so you can it's see. Perfect. Whoops, that's stenciling the wrong thing. I'll put them down here. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's awfully festive of you. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I'm going to give you these because... We're going to so, do some heavy lifting? Well, this is the thing. It's, this is a very simple project. Yeah. If you plan. Okay. So I have to talk about planning. So here's what I did this weekend, because I made these to go out December 1st. Right. They're going to go yeah. in my front yard. I took all the measurements of my urns, mm -hmm. all of them. You want to consider the inside measurements, so that whole idea of measure twice, cut once. Yes. So the, the, in, the inside measurements of what needs to fit over top. You jot down those measurements. Yes. You stop on your way to Home Depot and you get a coffee. Yes. Yeah. You show up at Home Depot. Right. And you sweet talk the person at the wood cutting station. Right. To cut all of the pieces for you. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Wow. 
how you sip the coffee and give the occasional thumbs up. Thumbs up. So we're, we're through you. step like one to five already, <laughs> and it's just consuming <laughs> coffee at this point. So I did use pine, because pine yeah. is great for outside, sturdy. Um, now when it came to the construction, another thing that I did, I have a miter saw, not everybody has a miter saw. People who have miter saws are sometimes scared of the miter saws. Yeah. So I thought, let's make this super simple. So if you notice how I piece these together, we basically are just connecting the edges, almost like a jigsaw. So alternating the edges here. So this basically would slide on. Now the key, we're, we don't, we're a little, this? I was just gonna say. So is this glue? That's Construction glue. adhesive. Construction adhesive. You'd wanna Amazing. run a bead just along the, the side here and then use a nail gun. Now you can absolutely use a drill and screw, you just have to fill in larger screw heads. Right. You can also use finishing nails. You just need to be cautious of your thumbs. Yeah. If you really want to get this project Do you done want me quickly, to hold it? sure. You know what? I might hold it. Okay. I'm going to hold it this way. If you want to get this project done quickly, you're going to either buy or rent one of these suckers. Okay. And this a is good nailer. Do the job. So, safety glasses on. Fire a couple in. We do the other side, and you're absolutely right that we want to make sure that we're using glue as well. Nice. And once that's assembled, like literally it's kind of that easy. That's great. It's that easy. Look at that, you've and got then, your box, you're ready to go. Exactly, to trim the top, I just picked up some one by four, mm -hmm. and you just smack these around the top. A, a same thing with the nail gun. Yep. And once it's complete, just give it a really good sand. You do want to fill the holes, because you'll notice that there are some nail holes in there. Right. But one of the biggest tips I can say with this project is, again, because it's, ex it's, it's exterior, prime everything, including the bottom because anything oh. that's going to sit against the ground, you really want to seal it properly. That's very it's good. Very, very that's important. a very good tip. Yes, easy, easy project. Very nice. I love it. And is this a little bow that you can also finish well, it off with? Well, I picked that up and I thought, you know what? I like the planters the way that they were, just a little more simplified. But if it's you cute. really want to go in the way of gift wrapping, yeah. put some actual ribbon on the planters and add a, a bow into the plant as well. I love this. Nice and little this, touch. 